Welcome to my channel. I am Auntie Josie, a sexologist and relationship therapist. And my joy is in talking to young people so that they can embrace healthy sexual practices. Okay. Now, did you know that as a parent, there is a way you can influence your child's sexual behaviors? Okay. There are things you can do that can actually destroy your child and make your child choose the wrong things in life, do the wrong things in life that will lead them into so many problems that because of you as a parent, you can lead your child to get pregnant, that because of you as a parent, there are things you can do that can lead your child to getting STIs, taking drugs and things like that. Now, did you know that as a parent, providing alone is not enough? And this is what the parents of this generation are focusing on. Providing, providing, providing. Good things, good houses, excellent uh, clothes, perfect, the latest fashion, good food. Everything is in the refrigerator. There are workers in the home. There is security everywhere. Providing, providing, providing. Did you know that as a parent, you are also expected to guide your child, to mentor your child, to counsel your child, to teach your child and most important, to reprimand your child. When your child does something wrong, what do you do? Do you praise them? Do you cover it up? When you're called in school and told that your child has done ABCD and this child is due for punishment, do you shout back at the teachers? Do you attack the teachers? Or do you stop and step aside with your child and talk to your child and make sure that they face the punishment that they deserve. What kind of a parent, I mean, are you when it comes to offering disciplinary measures? Number two, did you know that introducing your child to modern technology, especially mobile phones, uh, laptops, iPhones, computers, did you know that doing so without counsel and control can destroy your child? Because you know what is going on in the internet. There is exposure to pornography. Are you discussing pornographic sites with your child? Have you sat down and talked about pornographic uh, sites um, this means, have you told your child that there is pornography and pornography is dangerous and that by watching pornography, it can destroy you in this and that and that way. Therefore, what you do as a parent is number one, you block those porn sites in those gadgets. Okay. Number two, if there is Wi-Fi in your house, ensure that it has a password because I have heard this from so many parents. Oh, you know, I just, I just didn't know. I walked into him. He was watching pornography and you know, there is free Wi-Fi in my house. There is no password. Then you start blaming yourself when they are addicted to pornography or masturbation or addicted to sex. We will discuss all that here. Did you know that due to poor communication, you can drive your child away? so that they end up with the wrong people, shouting at your child, shutting them down when they want to talk to you, treating them with so much silence. You are a parent. You don't seem to be interested in what your child is doing. When you come home, you are so angry. You have brought your work issues at home. You have brought your relationship issues at home. So you are not able to listen to your child as they talk. You shut them down. You shun them out. You understand? They're trying to talk to you. You tell them you're too busy. You, you're constantly on the phone. You're watching television. How much are you communicating with your child, trying to understand how their day was, who their friends are, and this kind of things? Because if you will not do that, they will feel shut out. And that is how they start seeking friends and they end up with the wrong friends. Then end up doing the wrong things that will cost you so much, okay? Are you abusing your child physically? Then you need to stop because what you're doing is you're diminishing that child's self-esteem and sooner or later they will blow up. They will start using sex. They will start using drugs to, you know, so as to actually lift up their low self-esteem, okay? Are you abusing your child emotionally? Are you really there for your child? And verbal abuse is the worst kind of abuse. Are you calling your child names? Are you, are you 
are you appreciating what they're bringing home from school however bad it is are you talking back at them and telling them that they are useless or oh, you're nothing you'll bring shame to this family you will amount to nothing are you that kind of parent because if that is what you're telling your child that is what they will carry around therefore they will lose their self-esteem they will lose their confidence and will not even be able to do what they came to do in this planet because what i usually say is that every child has a special thing in them we should not just focus on school grades there is a sports there is arts and arts is crazy it's it's big like that and people are earning millions from arts i know you really want and it's about this public image your child got an a they all cannot get an a we all cannot become scientists. The world needs musicians. We need comedians. We need actors. We need designers. Okay? We need agricultural, uh, you know, the people in the farm bringing food to the table. So if your child is not getting an A in mathematics or physics or chemistry and, and other science subjects, kindly sit with your child so that you can actually discover that which lies in them. And it starts with you as a parent. Because if this is your DNA, then basically what you do could be what they would like to do. Are you a disrespective parent? I have talked about this so much. Are you the kind of parent that is a single, but you keep on bringing sex partners at home? And this is destroying girls, especially girls and even boys, where single mothers are parenting, but they have these serial boyfriends. And when these men come home, each brings their own energy. And the children are reacting in a different way. And the inside here, there is a message you are sending about sexuality and responsibility. And some of these partners you're bringing home are busy abusing your children. Are you that kind of a parent? Okay. Are you the kind of parent who engages so much in gossips, I don't know if this is common in the Western world, but you realize that I have seen it here in Africa, housewives who have nothing to do at the end of the day. So they meet in this house and they start talking about their sexual encounters with their husbands. And some are even bringing in stories about their side dishes and the kind of sex that they're having outside their marriages. And their children are there holding this very sensitive, I don't know, explicit language they they're just there discussing sexual encounters in the presence of their children do you know what they, what your children are picking up okay are you the kind of parent that has encouraged your child to have a hobby because believe you me what is happening today all this idleness with children ending up drinking alcohol in the wrong company taking drugs and things like that engaging in sexual encounters that are actually are destroying them with diseases and pre unwanted pregnancies it is because they do not have hobbies okay a hobby is the kind of thing that your child loves to do i would like you to discover that with your child so that they love it so much they immerse their, themselves in it their minds their souls their bodies are in it and hobbies are basically more of skills it could be gardening it could be taking care of rabbits or chicken it could be music. You purchase an instrument and go online, YouTube, help your child to learn how to do this instrument. It could be carpentry. That is what they are interested in most. I have a child I know who, who had so much interest in leather work. And until the father started focusing on that, they didn't know that actually this child had so much talent in designing shoes and handbags. You see what I'm talking about? Photography. It could be cooking, baking, and pastry. This is how people are making money in this world. Are you encouraging your child to enjoy time alone by doing something that is productive, a hobby, a skill? You realize that most professionals, I mean, like most millionaires today, this is how they are making their money. Hobbies start small and then they grow into skills and something they you know they they give it so much attention in life and just like that they become great people in those fields are you the kind of parent that lacks spirituality in your home how often do you pray do you believe in god 
okay and i know that as a parent probably you have reached a point where you do not believe in god but god is important i am telling you if your child will not have god in their life they will fall for everything they will worship everything they will be attracted to anything they will take it anything because we all know what spirituality does it shapes the way we think it shapes the choices that we that we make in life understanding and knowing that there is a higher power that you are answerable to there are commandments i should stick to eh? and i know that if i do this it is wrong there is a god i'm answerable to these things have managed to keep us in the right place if we didn't have these things i am telling you even if we go on social media and we castigate religion and we talk so much evil about it, there is a way it has contributed to the way we do things in a normal manner, in a way that is productive without destroying ourselves. Look at yourself as a parent. What choices are you making for your child? Do not become the kind of parent that will be blamed later in life. A child will come and tell you, and you know nowadays they don't know how to, to, to chill. You know, they just speak their minds. Oh, it is because of you that I'm, you know, because, because of your drinking, I am drink, drinking. Because of your sexual behavior, that is why I'm a prostitute. After all, you are a prostitute. You know, you, know how, you know how children are talking back at parents today. You will not recover from that heartache, my dear. Put yourself together and let your child be a priority by making sure that you help them walk the right path. Okay? Thank you very much for choosing this channel. I'll give my video a thumbs up. Subscribe to this channel so that we can continue with these conversations. Questions down below and I'll be able to answer them. Thank you very much.